Today, I wanna to talk about major appliances in the home. It's important to make sure you maintain these appliances so they work at 100% efficiency. Every couple of months or so, I like to change out the water filter to make sure that I am drinking the cleanest possible water and also make sure the vent system that's either in front of the refrigerator or the rear is cleared of dust and debris and there's enough airflow going around the motor to make sure your refrigerator is working 100%. So let's go ahead and change out this water filter first and then once the water filter is changed out, I'm gonna pull out the refrigerator so we can see what it's like behind there and if it's something that we need to vacuum out and clean. So let's get to work. First things first, full disclosure, my refrigerator is not the cleanest, so don't judge me. Now, what you need to do is in the middle, it's real simple, you flip this up, you twist it to the left, and then pull out. As you can see, there's the old one right there, and then we're gonna put the new one in, take the plastic off, take off the cap, Push in and twist to the right until it locks and you hear that suction. That part is done. So the next thing you're going to want to do is just get a large jug of water because now you're going to have to run at least three gallons of water through that filter to make sure it is primed properly. So now that's done, I'm gonna pull out the refrigerator and we're gonna check the vents in the back to see if they're clogged up with any dust and lint. So you can see it's a little dusty back here. So now that I have this pulled away from the wall, so I'm gonna remove this rear panel and we're gonna make sure everything is okay on the inside and clean it up. Always make sure you unplug the refrigerator prior to you vacuuming or going anywhere on the inside because you're not going to want to damage anything if the motor is running. So there's the inside with all the dust. And then you can see the coil itself is really, really dusty. You're going to want to vacuum all of this out. And that way we'll get it back to running at its full potential. So next up I'm gonna do is just take a damp cloth and then go over the fan blade system. All right, so another thing to know is before you put it back, just make sure everything looks good, kinda examined, cleaned out what you needed to clean out. When you do vacuum out this grill, that's a, just be careful, don't try to damage all the fins with the nozzle of the vacuum. And then simply get seated back into place. All right, so before you push back the refrigerator, just go ahead and plug this back in to make sure everything is working correctly. Everything seems good, everything is quiet. Now we are able to push this back in and that's it. Do this about every six months and you can make sure that your refrigerator is working in tip top shape and you're not gonna have to worry about it breaking. Thanks again for watching. As always, everybody stay handy, my friends. I'll see you on the next one.